Hey guys, this is my uh, outfit of the day. This is my outfit of the day video. Uh, I'm wearing my grey cardigan, uh, my grey top with a little skip bit on it. I'm wearing my uh, lace down leggings. Um, I'll just show you the boots I'm wearing. Just take them a little bit. I'm wearing my grey boots, my grey cowboy boots with the tassels down the side. Um, I just really love these. Um, so I'm just going to like model my outfit for a little bit. This is my outfit of today. Um, I'm just going to move that to the back so I can see. So I can put this like here. Today, today I um, want to talk about how the the world and the law that's in it is backwards. Um, I hate that all this like shit that's going on in the world right now, and like, um, like I was like looking through some pa old papers, newspapers that I found, and. Um, if you see my, sorry for a second, if you see my bunny run about, that's fine. Um, but anyway, back to the subject. Um, so, I was looking through like some old papers that I found before I threw them out. Um, I should have kept them. And, like, I was looking how there was um, the guy who was like 35 year old and he had raped a 14 year old. And she got like, uh, well put it this way, there was a girl who was shoplifting for clothes and she got like two years or something, two years or a year and a half or something, uh, not just, no it was, it was two years she got, two years for shoplifting and um, there was a guy who had raped a girl, there was a guy who had raped a girl, uh, a 14 year old, 35 year old man raped a girl at 14 and he got less than what the shoplifter got. Now, I think it's fucking crazy that someone who had raped someone is getting less time than a shoplifter. I think that's fucking crazy. I think that's mad. Like, when I read it, I was so fucking angry. I was like, oh my god, you just want to walk in that, you want to walk in that courtroom and say, fucking hell, judge, wake up. Do you realise what you're fucking doing? You just sent a fucking shoplifter to two years in prison and you've sent fucking a guy uh, that raped a 14 year old girl to prison for half that time. I think it's ridiculous and like yesterday, yesterday as well um, I've been a bit worried because um, like there's people been trying to, uh, there's big back backwards people, um, you thought I was he thought I was fucking uh, stupid. Um, you come on, uh, like I go on Boudou.com and um, I was on the site and this, I told this guy that I was trans female. I still had my male parts for the moment till I see my doctor about getting an appointment in uh, Sandyford uh, in Glasgow. And um, I told him that I was still male underneath and he said to me, get yourself to fuck, oddball. Now, there was no nasty, there was, I was only being honest with him and there was no need for him to be nasty so I told him there was no need to be nasty and he said to me, uh, delete me sicko and then like this guy I was uh, also talking to, he says oh it uh, could have been one of my mates, was he from Montrose and I said yes and then the guy, the guy that called me a sicko and oddball come back to me and he was talking, he was talking to me like nothing happened, like nothing even said 
and I says to him, um, yeah, first you were mean to me, and then you want to do this, and then, uh, and then he was talking to me, and then I was like, no, you're all being all nice to me, and then, he, and then he ignored what I said, and he said something else, something nice, and I says to him, what fucking kind of game are you playing? Um, so I know that that was a whole kind of a setup. I think it was a setup for me to meet them and for them to fucking try and beat me up for me being who I am. But I don't fall for that. That's another reason why the world's backwards, because they think everyone else is backwards. And they think that I would just fall for it and go and meet them and end up getting beat up. No, I'm not falling for that again. It's happened to me once, but I'm not doing that again. Um, <coughs> I think... I think the world should be, um, I think, starting with the law, I think, uh, I think the judges need to get their fucking heads sorted, like, put fucking someone to prison for a long time for doing rape, and someone doing for shoplifting, yeah, you can put them to prison for so many months, years, but don't put them to fucking, uh, prison for a long time term more than someone who's been raped. I think that's fucking ridiculous. This, it's... The law in this world is all backwards. It really is. And if you, if, if you agree with, if you agree with what I'm saying, put your comments in the box below and I'll be happy to read them and answer them for you. And uh, if you just let me know what you think on the law. Um, like if, I, I think like, um, like even even like the police or anything like that, they would be like, oh, oh, you shouldn't be doing this, uh, and it wouldn't have happened. And it's like, well, this is my fucking life, and if I want to do this, whatever it is anyone is doing, like myself, I'm only trying to be the female that I feel inside, and I'm embracing my inner female and making her come out, and I I I, I see it myself. Every time every time I see myself as a female now. Um, every time when I get ready for bed, I, I, I barely see the guy in me, and uh, and I'm happy. That I'm happy this way. Um, but I think I think the law needs to be a bit hard on people. Like um, there's people out there who leave it to get. There's people out there. Sorry about that. He's looking at the strap of my camera and he's trying to get it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I think the law comes down hard on the wrong people, and they send people to prison for silly things, and people who get raped or attacked or anything like that, they get put to fucking prison for uh, half the time of a shoplifter. What's up with that? You just want to walk in that courtroom and go fucking wake up, judge, smell the fucking coffee. Like, I was looking in the paper, because uh, 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 I've got, I, I like to read the tele and the telegraph and stuff, and I see, I, I, I see people like, um, like a, a, a woman was, a, a woman was beat up and hit on her head to her injury, and the guy got like so many months, and like there was, uh, another, uh, another one who, um, like, a girl who had, uh, cut her boyfriend, on the arm with a knife, she she was attacking him. She was drunk and out of her face or whatever. She was really drunk and um, and she got she got less time than what the other time got. And I was like, I was like, yeah, the female got hit in her head to have an, head to an injury. Yeah, he he should he should go to jail for that because no woman should be beat up. But a girl took fucking a knife and slashed her boyfriend across the arm, and she got half the time for that as well. And I think she should have gone fucking. I think she should have got. I mean, I mean, what if she cut? What if she had to cut an artery or something? He could have bled to death. And and I just think the whole world is fucking backwards, backwards. And I'm just fucking, I'm just fucking sick of it. I think the law. I I think the law is fucking going or, going in the wrong direction and putting the ones who are doing the worst giving them less time in prison, and the ones who are doing the least, not so bad, giving them more time in prison, and it's like, what the fuck? You know? I just, I'm just really fucking angry with that. I just don't get it at all. I'm just, like, I know that it's, 
like obviously it's nothing to do with me who gets to who gets prison. But in my eyes, I don't think it's fair on them if they're being sent to prison for something silly. And something like the example back to back to the guy who raped the thirty five year old who raped a fourteen year old and the woman who did shoplifting. I mean, there's an example for you. He raped a girl and she did shoplifting. She got sent to prison for two years and he was sent to prison for half that time. And bail. And he got bail. And I'm like, what? You put a fucking rapist back out on the street. What the fuck are you thinking? So you could go and rape another fucking 14 year old. Fucking crazy. Why would you put a rapist back out there when you know that other children are, ch other children are and fucking risk of being attacked by that man, that fucking monster. And like, this is why, this is why I was in the group face, and this is why I put the the video up of the DVD we did, uh, where the girl, the fourteen year old girl gets taken over by the club, the, the guy uh, works in the club, and it's funny enough as well because. We did, we did the video in face, and the, the DVD was called No Danger, and it's about a club, a guy who works in the, the kids' uh, club, and um, he ended up controlling the, the, the little girl PJ, and um, <coughs> and he, he was controlling her life, telling her what to do, getting her on drugs and stuff like that, and then I actually read the paper. After I put like a couple of days after I posted that video, and there was a club member, a guy who was hitting on boys, going after young boys, and I thought that was really coincidence. And then even he, even he got didn't get that long in prison. And if 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 if, if a rapist was working in a club, he should have got he should have got more time in prison. He worked there just to fucking hit on kids. That's fucking awful. And, like, all this fucking backwards shit, the law needs to take, the law needs to take a look at reality here. See what they're doing wrong. See who they're, see who's going to prison for less time than, uh, monsters are going to prison for less time than somebody doing fucking shoplifting. What's that all about? You know what I mean? It's like, Yeah, you have your yeah, you have your lawyers and your solicitors fighting for you. But you know what? I still think the fucking judge should be like, well, Ken, what you've raped a girl, and uh, we're kind of we're kind of risk putting you back out on the street because it could happen again. You're not going to stand there and believe him when he goes, no, I'm not going to do it again. I've learnt my lesson because no, he hasn't learnt his lesson. He's going to do it all over again. Honestly, it makes me, it makes my blood boil, it really does, and I just hate that, I hate it, that fucking monsters are getting to roam the street while silly little shoplifters are in the prison serving time for stupid things. It's like, I mean, it's, it's like, the law is supposed to be there for our safety, how are, they, how are they making us feel safe if they're putting the monsters back out on the street? Do you agree with me? I mean, we're, we're looking out for our safety because you're putting the monster back out on the street. Hello? Wake up. And, like, I knew when I was on Badu yesterday, I knew what kind of guy, what kind of game that guy was playing. He, he gave me a lot of fucking shit for being a trans female and then he'd come on and give me this whole, whole fucking nicey nicey routine. Don't think so. I won't fall for it. <clears throat> I'm not going to fall for it. I'm, I'm not going to fucking... You can't fucking treat me backwards like you fucking be mean to me and then be all nicey nicey to me and expect me to be up so you can kick fuck out of me or something. Don't think so. Um, but... I am going to go off for just now guys because I'm really angry talking about this and my blood is literally boiling right now so I need to go and calm down a bit. Um, so if you agree with what I'm trying to say, put your comments in the box below please and I will uh, look at the comments and I will get back to you on them. So until next time you guys, stay, go stay beautiful.
Hazreti 